ever imagined living under the same roof with a cobra, hyena, baboon, and other wild animals as housemates? Well, if not, follow AfriWorld to Nigeria. Welcome to Kano. Where we have a group of men, call them a gang, that keep these animals not as pets, but as source of income. Let's go. They call it magic, protected by portions, charms, and amulets, an offbeat urban tribe in Nigeria entertains audiences with daring feats, which they perform with hyenas, poisonous snakes, and baboons. Predominantly comprised of Hausa people, one of the largest ethnic groups in West Africa, they move from city to city, gathering large crowds wherever they go. The men not only stick their heads into the mouths of the hyenas, but also ride them like horses. They inch their faces dangerously close to the fangs of the snakes and sometimes stick the snakes' heads into their mouths. The baboons are dressed in clothes and ordered to perform backflips. Who are the hyena men? One of the world's most extraordinary street gangs in Nigeria. This traveling circles uses an intoxicating mix of voodoo and dangerous animals to make a living. The men are from the rural farmlands of northern Nigeria, where they catch the hyena pads baboons and snakes in the wild. They then train them and take them to the city to perform in their street circles. It's said they use ancient magic to bring wild animals under their control. There are also rumors they have supernatural powers and some even believe they are part hyena. How did this begin? The job the hyena men do is a tradition handed down to them from their forebears, a custom they pass down to their children. From a very young age, they give their children concoctions to drink and put them in close quarters with the snakes, baboons, and hyenas. This is done to familiarize them with the animals and lose all fear for them. Regardless of the superstitions surrounding their work, these men are traveling minstrels earning money by performing with these animals. Their way of life shines a light on the clash between the urban and the wild, and the controversial relationship that the handlers have with their animals, sometimes loving, sometimes brutal and cruel. When questioned if what they do is morally acceptable, they defend their way of life. These animals, they say, are their only means of survival. What's your take on this? Do you think it's animal cruelty or they are just awesome at that? 